Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about pressure, which is the way you will create puffer jackets and other things that have um, that are inflated in clo. So pressure is a property of a pattern piece. So if I click on any pattern piece, I'll see that I have this little pressure slider. Um, you can have a negative or a positive value. If I do a positive value and turn on simulation, my pattern piece is going to be pushed forward by a force. And then if I do a negative value, it's going to be pushed backwards by the force. So pressure is just a uh, force being enacted on a pattern piece. In order to make things inflate or create a puffer effect, you're going to need an enclosed shape or pattern. So in the soccer ball, since everything is sewn together, if I increase the pressure of all the pattern pieces, my ball will inflate. The puffer effect is determined by the strength of the fabric and by the amount of pressure being forced. So if I right click and strengthen this fabric right now, my ball will inflate more. Um, and if I was using a more sturdy fabric, I would have more inflation. So let's open up the next file and we're going to try this on a garment. Let's create a puffer jacket out of this pattern piece. You can create design lines using your internal polygon tool. You should definitely create your lines before applying the puffing effect or applying pressure. Because when we create our um, internal layer or our lining layer, the internal lines come with us. And if we don't have them, we're gonna have to just, like redo our work. Um, I'm just drawing lines freehand, which you can do as well. But a neat trick is that if you select two edges of a pattern, right click and hit distribute internal line along segment, you'll be able to create these interesting design lines that follow the pattern of your, um, your the edges of your pattern. So play with that. And then when you're done, I'm just gonna use my transform pattern tool and select all of my puffer jacket patterns. I'm gonna right click on one of them and hit layer clone under. This creates a layer that is sewn underneath my uh, original pattern. It's a complete duplicate and all of the lines are sewn down. Um, this layer, I wanna create the pressure um, and I want it to be negative. So I'm gonna do negative 10. On my top layer, I wanna do 10. So it's the opposite. Um, one is 10, the top layer is 10, the bottom layer is negative 10. When I turn on simulation, you'll see my jacket will puff up and that's it. Um, so now you have your puffer jacket. You can just kind of adjust based on the amount of pressure you want. You can change the fabric and materials. I'm going to decrease my particle distance a bit just so all the details come through more. So I'm going to go down to five. and then re-simulate. I also am going to just change my fabric to be a silk satin so it's a bit shiny and change it to a different color. And you can adjust yours however you like. So one last thing with uh, puffer jackets and pressure is that it's Always good to add some puckering to your seam lines. Um, this just gives it a more realistic effect. Puckering is a normal map or a, a little like shadowy texture that is applied on top of your fabric. Um, and you can apply it along any seam line or internal line. I'm using my, edit, uh, my segment puckering tool and my free puckering tool in order to draw over my internal lines. Um, and you'll find those in your 2D window toolbar. So you can kind of see that little puckering effect as if the stitch tension was pulling on the fabric. So that's our puffer jacket. If you want more practice, there are a couple more files in the um, close set folder. So feel free to open those and try making your own designs.